Hi, I'm Patrick Gill, and I composed the score for Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. I'm Ryan Anser. Um, I co-produced and co-wrote and performed the non-score music for Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Hi, my name is Gary Platts, and I did the score mix production for Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. I'd say the first one, like I really, so I'll, I'll go with one of yours, because in, in the first one, I'd say one of my favourite bits is actually in episode four, the, the Ken track, the way, I mean, that comes in again, because it was a, a quite a fun episode, wasn't it? It was more yeah. of a takeaway from the seriousness of the whole film, and it was more of a, like, yeah, just a fun player around episode. Sure. I, I really loved that moment when Ryu's chatting to Ken, you know, about the place and how strange it is, and basically about his uh, issues with his dad and then from that point on as you can hear it fading in and then it kicks you in want drugs? Uh, the... yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you get into strange trances again that stuff and then yeah. like the music comes in from that point and then kicks in i love that when you get the sparring with mr masters and stuff and, sure. you know, I, I just love that one and that would be definitely one of them and in terms of the score my own i guess would be the track in episode seven, when it's probably my, one of my favorites is when Sayaka is chasing Goki and Goki's been banished from the dojo and he's leaving and Sayaka's running after him and there's that very sort of almost love connection there, the quite sweeping sort of piece as the it kind of pans out and you see the shot of them talking and you see the dojo in the background. It's very sort of beautiful and very um, moving. That's Definitely, I'd say, one of my favourites in terms of the emotional stuff. And the same for the, the end track, actually. The end cue with uh, when Ryu's leaving. And he's talking to Goki and he's explaining, you know, how they're going to miss each other and stuff. And that music for that scene, I think it's called Be Strong. But that track, you know, really, really proud. And Akuma's uh, theme, um, Akuma Rises, I think I called it. Uh, that scene when... It fades to black in the cave, and you get this horrible, like, quarrel sound, which is like a pitched down quarrel sound. It, basically, what it was, it was like a 40 piece child's choir, and it was like pitched down, so you get this kind of meow sort of sound. And then it fades to black, and then you get the bum, 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 when Joey's in full, full flex <laughs> coming out of the cave. That, that moment is very big and very powerful. Moments. Three favourite musical moments. Um, okay, weirdly, um, playing to win is not a track that's super prominent in terms of um, being a soundtrack piece of music. You hear the first few seconds clearly as Ryu is in going into the fray. Uh, having the bare knuckle match with the soldiers, mm. but actually when the track kicks in proper, um, it then cuts to um, Ryu and Ken sat at the bar. But actually, what I love is I was quite excited about hearing um, some of the music that I'd done for this via sound design, and I love um, I love scenes in films where you can hear a song blasting out of the PA and knowing that. That some design had gone into making it sound like that. I, I think it's because it really put me in the scene, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's that track that we put together, blasting out of a PA in some late '80s yeah. cheesy '80s nightclub, uh, and here's these two guys doing shots of sake with it blasting out, and um, that was a really cool moment for me. Um, I've touched on this already, but the second instance of the uh, chem theme was a very proud moment for me because when we again put that together and were in the process of putting it together I really visualized our version of the chem theme especially with the very specific way we produced it and engineered the sounds on it and just the, my approach to the guitars on it uh, playing the guitars on it coming out of an 80s ghetto blaster boombox and to see that interspersed with Ken um, doing the work. benching <laughs> and doing, you know, that whole thing. It doesn't yeah. get more 80s than a training yeah, montage. Classic uh, workout. <laughs> I really felt like it all came together in that moment for me, and that was that was a very happy moment. And then the third uh, moment really has got to be um, Akuma in the cave. Um, just chills. The music, 
the training, the dark nature of the training. I like, I think my face, some of my favorite music is Goki and then Akuma in the cave. Um, it just all comes together for me. Um, and that's what a score is. What I'm hearing is really matching the emotions of what I'm seeing. Yeah. And as you said, your approach that you took to a very specific mix things for individual tracks. Yeah. Uh, really, de it's almost uh, sonically detailing the movements and actions. One of my most, most favorite bits is um, Lake Run. I think because um, it was one of the first ones we worked on. Yeah. Um, and then when you when you brought shot in for us to watch, it, it kind of like I, I, I think you really captured the relationship between Ken and Ryu in that music. In that, in that, that, in that in initial that, yes, yeah. And I think that set set them up for the whole yeah. movie. It's, you know, this is, this is who these guys are. This yeah. is what they're like. Yeah. Um, and I just thought that the music that you wrote that, that you wrote for that bit and that we mixed took so long to mix yeah. really represented what was those guys were about at that time. And what we really. did it, we actually did it when we were, when I was writing uh, episode five and six, I think, because mm. that scene was left blank yeah. for a long time. Yeah. So I wanted something really good to yeah. get people. Yeah. Akuma anyway. Rises yeah. is another one for me. It's got this big stomping rhythm. It's my turn, I should say so. Oh my god, it was, it was fantastic. I love that. I just, you know, it's just really got yeah. the old hairs going. When, when, when I was mixing, I was thinking, oh my god, this is just phenomenal. Really, yeah. really great. Really, really, really exciting. Yeah. Um, and another one, I think the bar. Love that. You, you know, yeah. because you, you, you've you gone from this, um, this kind of Japanese traditional thing and then all of a sudden it's like what the hell's going on because you get this 80s 90s sort of music happening and yeah, it just sure. like really pulls you into that scene yeah right and i just thought because I, I thought of you when i watched it i thought oh, wow, right, this okay. is really kind of cool what you said i love i love the sound of this yeah it sure it. I yeah it. it's uh it definitely it's 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 odd because it always pulls you out first and you remember of course this is what americans do they set up an army base in a country and they make sure that all their soldiers have got all their creature comforts from home, including, it's the 80s, let's have a tacky <laughs> 80s nightclub, yeah. And let's bring yeah. you into our world. Yeah. It was great, the switch between the two <laughs> right. that, images was just fantastic. It's actually a really difficult question to ask, you know, what's your favourite? Because the, there must have been 30 to 40 pieces of music for the score. It wasn't a small amount of... You know, music in the score, and it's so mm. difficult to really decide on, you know, which ones, you know, because there's so much love and like heart gone into everything, you know, with Ryan and yourself and Gary, and like, there's just it's really difficult to pinpoint, you know, what. <laughs> I think I think Akuma versus Gotetsu yeah, is a great That's a nice is a great. I mean, yeah. that that was your that was your your turning point, wasn't it? Because we uh, when I first started, I, I did one. I'll let, I'll let you in on this. Like when I first started, I did one pass, one or two passes of the first. Was it the first two series, first two episodes? Sorry, and um, I sent it to Joey, and of course I went for a more very Zen kind of traditional sort of Japanese approach to it, and it just was all wrong. It just sounded, it was not. <laughs> you needed to get it out of your system. Yeah, I needed to get out my yeah, system. Yeah. I think it was, but it, it was that. it was finding my feet. I think in, in the first two weeks. Yeah, 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 something wrong with it. But I sent it to Joey, and Joey said. No, this isn't working. This isn't working. So okay, so we went back, we redid it, and and then yeah, when I did Goki versus Goken, um, that was the turning point when Joy was like, "Whoa, okay, now now we're you know we're talking." And from there, it was very much like finding your feet, find the sound, and then from then onwards, it, everything just is all kind of downhill. It gets easier. From but then that onwards. that Akuma Gatetsu fight is that the name of the fight? What's the, the, me versus Togo? Uh, yeah, Akuma versus Gatetsu. Yeah. You see, that's another one. That's that another. Dun, 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 yeah, that's another. It's a very Terminator fight. two, <laughs> era and, and cutting to shots of Goken yeah. desperately running, trying to get there. And it, it's yeah. you know, I love crescendos, right? Yeah. In terms of our director composer relationship, I love a, a huge and that builds to. It has so many yeah. uh, plateaus that it keeps rising up to it and. When Gotetsu finally unleashes his red aura, it's at it's kind of game. fever pitch. Yeah, and yeah. people, the, when you watch audiences watching it at that, you know you've got them in terms of picture, music, sounds up, because they're literally yeah. 
almost shaking at, at, yeah, at the experience. The and release, I don't know <laughs> like, how you guys feel about this, but <clears throat> on a whole, obviously, we've talked about like our favourite moments musically, but if I had to say as a whole, visual, music, everything coming to like if I had to pick one one scene Perfect, like, from it's, yeah. it's it, it is Akuma versus Kotetsu. That's yeah. my favorite part of the entire series. I'd, I'd say it's definitely it's, my favorite fight scene as well. Yeah, it's like, a, the, yeah. the best fight scene. It's, it's awesome. But that is it's funny because in terms of um in terms of uh that fight in terms of shooting it, we ended up shooting fifty percent if that of what that was planned for that fight. Yeah. So it was a nightmare in the edit to actually make a cohesive fight and using the tool of cutting away, that was an afterthought of having Goken desperately running to get that that right. allowed me with our broken continuity of the fight to jump in at random points. Yeah. So I think as a piece of filmmaking and building of tension, that scene for me is a, is a real success in terms of full on choreography. The end fight between Ryu and Ken yeah. is epic. And I love the music of that because that really builds to it's got two crescendos. You've got, obviously, Ryu being knocked out, Ryu waking up again, knocking yeah, Ken out, Ken, Ken waking up, and the whole yeah. run to the flaming show. You've got, a, I think, the two most hype moments in yeah. the whole series where people are literally spazzing out is like, yeah. is the flaming shoulder you can yeah. bit and the climax of the Akuma Katetsu fight. They yeah. are at the, where everything has come together to have sure. you. You're yeah. lost in, in the story. Thank you for uh, joining us on this little um, kind of music sound insight roundtable discussion of the score. And uh, yeah, be sure to uh, go on to iTunes, Amazon, um, Amazon US, Google. Europe, UK, Google, uh, Google Play, Play, all your usual digital outlets. You can purchase the Street Fighter Assassin's Fist uh, soundtrack if you hadn't already also uh, recently released is the uh, Street Fighter Assassin's Fist epilogue soundtrack which contains uh, songs that weren't on the first one also includes um, the version of Ken's theme uh, by myself and Dan Brain I hope you've enjoyed listening to our little discussion about the um, making of the music for Street Fighter Assassin's Fist um, it was a, a pleasure to be involved with such an amazing project, and I can't wait to work on World Warrior, which is coming next. Yeah! yeah.